Hey everybody, this is Matt from the Creator Team, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about exporting using the CLI and our zip export functions. So I've already created a little export test app using the side menu with a simple login and sign up page linked up to that menu. And now that I've kind of finished this app, I want to go ahead and export it so I can start coding. So this is the export icon right here and all of the different kinds of exports. We're going to go through CLI and zip today. So now the CLI export is traditionally used by developers that have a full Ionic development environment set up on their computer. And the zip export is traditionally used for you to just download a zip of your project and maybe hand that off to a developer that has the full Ionic set up on their computer already. So first things first, with the Ionic CLI, you do need at least version 1.7.10 to, in order to use this creator function. So this npm install dash g Cordova Ionic, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to run that so you have at least 1.7.10. The way you can check that is if you're in your console and you just type Ionic info. And we give it a second here. Ionic info is going to have this Ionic CLI version. I'm on 1.7.11, so I am already fully upgraded. Now that I know I'm fully upgraded, we can run this Ionic start, the name of our app, creator, and then our ID here to get going. So we can just copy that, switch back to our console here, and I'm gonna replace app name with the actual name of my app. So for this, we're going to do, uh, this is just export test, and this is gonna run through the entire Ionic Bootstrap process and download our project into that www directory so that we can start working on it right away. Now it's important to note that in order to use the CLI export, you also need to make sure that you're logged in in the Ionic CLI. So before you do this, if you're not logged in, I already am, just type in Ionic login and put in your username and password from creator and that will allow you to download your project. Just for security reasons, we don't want just anybody to be able to download your project if they have your project ID. So this is still initiating this project real quick here. I can show you guys how this exported. While we're waiting, let me talk a little bit about the other two real quick. So Ionic Package allows you to get uh, a APK and IPA files directly. Uh, these are kind of used for testing. So remember, there's no code behind a creator project yet. So this is just if you want to hand an APK file, a native Android or iOS file off to someone to test it, you can use this. You'll have to set up your security profiles and stuff first, but I'll have a video on that later. And then the creator mobile app you can download if you are a paid user, which is on the App Store and Google Play that will allow you to not even go through any of this export process and still test it immediately on your phone right away without waiting. So, okay, so our CLI export is finished. And as we can see here, we are still in the base directory so we can CD into that export test. And there's all of our files. So I actually wanna show some of these to you guys and open them up in our code editor. So here's our WW directory. We've got image, JavaScript, lib, templates. As you can see, we have one template for each page that we've generated. So we have a login, a side menu, and a sign up template. We've automatically downloaded uh, the library Ionic for you. And then we also have our app, controllers, directives, routes, and services. So now's the point in time where like, if you wanted to start making some of this dynamic, you might pop into your login controller and start hooking that up with a backend data service, uh, as well as this login template to make sure that everything works correctly, that your backend services work, you've put actual code in here. So now's the part where you start actually coding. So this is the CLI bootstrap process. We just ran that command, it gave us an entire project set up. A lot of this other stuff, the platforms folder, plugins, all this stuff is required by Ionic for you to develop locally uh, and the CLI export does all of that for you. Now, let's say you already have somebody working on your project or you just wanna hand off the www file to a, um, a different programmer, what you can do is download this zip file. Okay, so we're gonna download the zip file real quick. And I'm just gonna move it to this folder. And we will extract that. 
And as you can see, the contents of this is only the www directory. So you can't just click this index.html and have it work. It's not going to function properly because it's not running behind our Ionic backend. So in order for this zip file to function, what your developer would do or you would do is copy this contents of our zip export and you would actually paste it into the www directory of an existing Ionic CLI started project. So here I'm just going to overwrite this whole thing with that zip export and everything should work fine. So in order to test this on my browser, I can do Ionic serve and that's going to give us our full app uh, already working with our side menu, everything rigged up. Now you can see before I click that index.html file and it didn't work. Now that we've used Ionic serve, it works perfectly. You can also do Ionic emulate iOS, Ionic emulate Android, or any of the other CLI functions that you want straight from here. At this point in time, you're outside of Creator and you're in a full Ionic environment. So if you want to learn more about you know, what to do here or what's available to you, hit up ionicframework.com and that's going to give you more information on not only the CLI, but other components that you might want to add, code that you might want to use. If you're still new to uh, Angular, I recommend getting started at AppCamp, or not Angular, Angular and Ionic. I recommend getting started at AppCamp.io. That's a site that we have set up that will run you through how to do the basics, Angular, user interface, networking, all of this stuff using Ionic. It's completely free to learn here. And then uh, specifically on the Ionic Framework site, another resource resource that you can use is our getting started page. If you don't have your CLI set up, this is a great place to get started. Please note that you'll have to actually follow the Android or iOS specific stuff or Windows users. You know, here's some extra stuff for you. So go through this to set up your CLI if you haven't yet, and then you'll have that full development environment set up so you can get started coding right away. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment on this video or hit us up. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.